12 News has learned Rhode Island is starting to see the effects of ships being diverted away from the port of Baltimore. Jake Holter is live outside the port of Davisville with the impact being felt there. Jake. That's right, and port officials say that the volume of imports could increase over the next year by about 20 to 25 percent as a result of the Keybridge collapse. As a top 10 auto importer in the country, the port of Davisville is no stranger to four wheeled cargo, but they anticipate a sizable influx of cars over the next year. You know, if we see four to 5,000 a month you know, over a 12 month period, we're looking at, you know, 50 to 60,000 additional units. The closure of the port of Baltimore, the top auto importer in the country, forcing the supply chain to adapt. Port officials said about 1,000 cars offloaded Wednesday were diverted from Baltimore. We we're able to take on a lot of additional cargo that needs to be diverted elsewhere. So we're going to see a 20 to 25 percent uplift in the amount of vehicles we import here at the Port of Davisville. Davisville taking on already familiar makes and models with which the port already has working relationships. We received, for example, 400 Nissans that, that came to us uh, from Mexico, and today we discharge 1,100 units of both GMC trucks and Ram trucks. King says he's glad recent infrastructure investments have allowed the port to be able to accommodate the influx of shipments. You know, it's great that, that we're well positioned, that we've been making investments in the infrastructure, and we have ability to handle the extra inflow, and perhaps we'll make some new relationships along the way and things may you know pan out where that some future business comes out of it too. And with the additional influx of cars coming into the port, officials anticipate that more jobs might have to be created in order to keep pace with that extra uh, influx. We'll have more on that coming up on 12 News at 6. For now, reporting live in Quonset, Jake Holter, 12 News. We have an update now on the Baltimore Bridge collapse. Crews are still working to clear the wreckage of the key bridge and recover the bodies of four construction workers. Governor Wes Moore says the water is so murky, dive teams are using sonar to map the debris field underwater. Most of the Baltimore's port is still closed to large commercial vessels, and that's diverting cargoes and other to other ports along the East Coast, and that includes the port of Davisville in Rhode Island, which is taking in extra car shipments. Jake Holter joins us now from Quonset with how they're handling the load. Jake. Well, the port director telling us that about 3,000 cars are being offloaded here today and that nearly a third of those cars are ones that have been diverted from Baltimore. So we'll see over the course of the coming months a 20 to 25 percent increase. Cars and trucks flowing into the port of Davisville Wednesday as the port receives shipments diverted from Baltimore following the key bridge collapse. You know, but that tragedy has led to a situation where the supply chain needs to, you know, flex and, and find places to send the cargo because the port down there is closed. Those cars and trucks coming into Quonset are all makes and models that the port is already familiar with. We received, for example, 400 Nissans that, that came to us uh, from Mexico, and today we discharged 1,100 units of both GMC trucks and Ram trucks. These GMC trucks we captured being driven off a ship here Wednesday afternoon are part of a shipment that was originally going to Baltimore. Officials estimate the port will see an additional four to 5,000 cars a month or 50 to 60,000 a year. With that increase in volume, Quonset Development Corporation Managing Director Stephen J. King says he anticipates that more people will need to be hired to keep up with demand. So the longshoremen that unload the vessels will have to put in more hours and potentially hire more folks to make it happen, as well as our auto processing company. NORAD is the company, North Atlantic Distribution, does a great job with us, and they'll have to have additional workers as well to keep pace. King says the number of additional jobs could be anywhere between 100 and 200 as the port adapts to the influx in shipments. Reporting in Quonset, Jake Holter, 12 News.